Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about inner product and outer product for computation. This is a very important concept both for quantum computing and computational physics which is a completely different thing. We will be needing these concepts throughout the journey of our quantum computing research and uh, it is a very important concept for understanding what a state is, how it is represented in a block sphere or a Hilbert space that I will be explaining. So let us move. For instance, we have two vectors, a vector A and a vector B and they are having an angle of theta between them. Then what is a scalar product in our classical mathematics that we know? That is a, a dot B which is mod of A. Mod of A is the magnitude of the vector. Mod of A into mod of B and the cos theta. Theta is the angle between the two vectors. This is the scalar product that we know from our high school physics or maths. And what is a vector product that is a cross product where a b sin theta is the basic formula this is the thing that we all know now i am going to make you understand the same concept but in the terms of quantum computing in quantum computing these two products are called as inner products and outer products that's all that's all this is but we need to know what's it what is its application it is represented by this form uh, that is the form of a bracket notation here this notation is called uh, inner product and this one is called uh, outer product so if we talk about inner product in computational physics and if we take two vectors that are vector a which is a column matrix and b which is a row matrix so the inner product will be the summation of each element multiplied with the uh, corresponding element of the another vector for example this summation explains very well here what does it mean is that a1 b1 plus a2 b2 till a n a a n b n will be the inner product of these two vectors for example if we take this example 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 then 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 then 2 with 5 10 and 6 with 3 18 and the sum equals to 32 this is the inner product of these two vectors it is also called as bracket product in this uh, computation because it as you can see it is created by a bra first and then a ket later as we talked in our earlier video so it is called as a bracket product also if we talk about the outer product in computation then it is a different kind of product if we can see that uh, it is called as a ket bra product because first we have a ket state multiplied with a bra state so as we know that bra state is basically the dagger of that vector and what is a dagger? Dagger is the transpose of that complex conjugate is called as the dagger of that vector. So A cross B dagger would be the outer product. As you can see here it is shown A vector remains as it is but a complex conjugate and then the transpose of that complex conjugate has been taken over here and it will be multiplied with it. It will be a n into n matrix. Uh, you can do it by matrix multiplication it is a normal multiplication so i hope you understood what is inner product and outer product in computation and particularly in quantum computation and later on we will be doing its applications and where it is actually implied that we will be learning if you have any doubts please ask it in the comment section do not hesitate Cla doubts need to be clarified then and there thank you